Last time, we were in La Rochelle, a lively sparkling seaside French town. This week, we take the slow route closer to Paris, via some small French villages, where we catch up on some minor van tasks and we partake in the French Euro Victory Day Parade. We're Andre and Lisa, full-time travelers and nomads since 2018. Last year, we bought a camper van in Europe, and after spending most of winter in Spain, we've set off on an epic 12-month, 20,000-kilometer adventure, planning to make our way from the south of Spain to the north of Scandinavia and back to southern Italy. After five weeks in Portugal and another two weeks in northern Spain, we now find ourselves in France for the next leg of our trip. Subscribe to join the adventure. Really cool, whoa. <laughs> Really cool spot here. It's an old campsite that has been made available by the municipality for free. There's water and electricity. And if you'd like, you can make a five euro donation. For a place like this, I think it's well worth it. Good morning. Good morning. Bonjour. 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 Beautiful spot, eh? Ready to go for a swim? Mm, hold on a second. <laughs> Not sure about that plan, <clears throat> but we don't have much on the cards today. Some. Look, there's the sun. Chores. Nice. Some hunting somewhere. Mm. Why did you break my mat? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the ongoing joys of camper van maintenance. Okay, so we've already done this once before. Yeah, we did a great job. We did a great job. It worked for six months. Yeah, we're trying to find something that works here, but we're just gonna put a little pause here for now. Yes, I found a cute little pause mat, and oh. I think that's gonna work a lot better. <laughs> Quickly, the marker. Whoa, we got new paws. <laughs> that looks so cool. Just sure test Let's them. See. Oh, did you rip them up in one guard? <laughs> <laughs> no worries, that's cool. Good job, love. Happy. What's happening in here? Uh, checking for damp issues. <laughs> hmm, is mm. not like too bad. No, it's not. <laughs> We're cleaning <laughs> the vents. Boom. <laughs> So dirty. And now we can see through them again. Oh, so much better. Look how nice and clean. Oh, oh I think I've been caught. But look, I found the golden wrapper. Can I go to the chocolate factory now? He's disqualified already. <laughs> All right, end of the day, during a sunset. There's actually been interesting. We mainly done some stuff around the van, but it's so nice here where we are. We decided we're going to stay another day. So tomorrow we're just going to hang again. It's just so relaxing. Beautiful. Yeah, it was nice to have an off day for a change. Yeah. Having a glass of wine, sunset, eight thirty, crazy. Summer's almost here. Feel it. Cheers. Feel it in the air. See you guys tomorrow. Many hours later. <laughs> Yeah, we're leaving. Uh, we actually end up spending three days here. It's so beautiful, oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. How would you not want to spend three days? Excuse the shoes on the dash. <laughs> before we run around the, the lake. We're packing up. All right, let me put the wedges away and we're going to dump our grey water quickly and we're off. Flight attendants prep for departure. Prepping for departure. <laughs> In one of our first stops in France, we picked up an ant colony. So now we have to be extra careful. This little place is about one and a half kilometers from the nearest village. 
So you have to sort of come here prepared. No, I haven't showed you little French groupies. There's electricity here, yeah, but we elected to be out here on the sticks all by ourselves because we don't really need electricity. I mean, such a great spot. Okay, this is the road. Oh, shoes. No problem. not so long drive but long enough to make it 4 30 we've arrived at our next destination and it's just past Le Mans where the famous 24 hour race is this is a camping car park posi my favorite places yeah not, not only we don't really take these because they're pricey but this is a brand new one so we're going to check it out and see Arrived. See what happens. It's quite nice. And we're the first people here today. Yeah. Oh, how cool is this? Well, those guys are like completely on the forest. Leveling looks very good. Okay, let me double check levels. <laughs> Feet didn't come out. There we go. I was very excited because the steps right here. There's no water here. Uh -huh. Okay, there's no water in these taps, so we'll have to walk and get some water. Let's go get some 25 liters. I'm just gonna get a 20 liters. Enjoy the van life. This looks like chaos. I see things happening. I see. Wait, let's see. A few months ago, we bought some of these 12 volt fans uh, with the intention of putting some of them at the vent of the fridge mm. to extract some of the heat, and that helps a lot for the cooling when it really gets hot. And today's the day. I'm not going to put one because I destroyed the other one accidentally. Now, if you really want to do a good job you get a microcontroller with a thermostat that automatically switches things on and off but mm, way too advanced so you pretty much just mount these guys behind the vent this goes here a lot of heat being generated here and you put the fan behind it will help extract some of the warm air on those days when it's really hot but this will be a manual switched fan so we'll just keep an eye on our thermometer that's inside the fridge and when it seems to be volatile, we just switch it on and see what difference it makes. But it's going to be simple because I'm not doing anything to the fridge. I'm going to tap into a 12 volt just here and put the switch right here. Just going to run the little cable up here along the cupboard. It's going to be simple, you said. Famous last words. <laughs> okay. Before I close up the cables, let me show what I've done. Little switches in. And this chaos <laughs> I just tapped in 12 volts and there's a fuse here 
And just got this to the switch there. This gets covered up. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And then outside, cable pops out here. This is where it comes out. And then a little fan sits like this. And then it just plugs into the cable. Right, we're gonna do it and see if it works. Okay, now I just need my assistant to just throw the switch. Uh, okay, lights are on. Mm hmm. Bam. Yep. Hmm. Nothing? Wait, lights are off. Lights on. Fan on. Yes, my assistant is not <laughs> that smart. All right. <laughs> assistant is sleeping. I got a fan. Okay, let me zip this up. Now imagine um, I did the wrong way around and it's blowing and it's <laughs> sucking, or I can't actually can put actually it back feel in as well. already that it's sucking out of here. Just as you hold it like that, you can feel the hot oh, air. Oh, yeah, it's gonna make a big difference. All boxed up. And we got a new little switch. We can keep it on temperature, and that will help us figure out whether it makes a difference or not. At the moment, the fridge is quite cold. If you listen carefully, you can hear it. And actually, you can feel the heat coming out here. Okay. So I'll call that a success. Uh, I'll probably make a separate video showing exactly how electrics work. Got a few questions about that. This is quite an old van. Didn't have solar panels, didn't have an inverter. Um, so we've made quite a few modifications to make it work for us. All right, let's uh, pack all this chaos away. <laughs> a few minutes later. So honey, how successful were your projects today? <laughs> Look at that door. <laughs> wait, wait, shit. It's getting worse. Oh god, yeah, wait. I think that our door's like in this It's gonna be easy, he said. <laughs> oh shit, I think everything's all screwed up. It was easy, but of course, in fixing one thing, you break another. I have to go up somehow. Okay, that doesn't close even nearly. Is it too high? Or what's the problem? I think it needs to be... It's hitting too soon, so I think it needs to be closer. It's like closer. <laughs> oh, the whole thing always just fell off. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's bad. That's not bad. Oh yes, I think we're the door slammers tonight. Uh, no, no. People, we always complain about people with bands that slam bands. their doors. Doof, doof, doof. But tonight we're the door slammers. Oh, there's nobody here, so. All right, good night again. Okay, good night. Do we not say good night in French? Buona notte. No, no. Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. We're gonna make it. We can make it. Oh, the train's coming. <laughs> That's where we are. I somehow expected more people at the ceremony. Might be some sort of parade, but there's only three people here, so who's gonna do the parade? Okay, suddenly. Ah. The band was cool. That was cool, these guys' helmets. Wow. That is so cool to play helmets. jardins municipaux, devant nos monuments aux morts et mémoriaux, nous commémorons le 77e anniversaire de la fin de la... That was pretty cool. <laughs> Interesting experience, a small, small, small town commemorating Memorial, War Memorial Day in France. 
And it's a real pity that we can't actually understand the language. I think we could have got so much more from it if we could understand. Uh -oh. <laughs> see, friendly locals. <laughs> okay, we're gonna cruise around a little bit, go down to the Fay and see what else there is to see. Much, much, much later. So, honey, what are we doing today? Make a post box. <laughs> Project front window post box. I don't know, it's experiment. <laughs> Trying to do a little mesh here so you park, you can open the window, but without the bugs coming in. It's one of the comes ventilation. Let's just say, uh, we'll see. Whoop! <laughs> lower the window for me? Lower the window? Yeah, I'll show you So the idea is that you just put this guy in here. Well, obviously, we're going to put a little mesh in here. Put this guy in here. And this is not weatherproof or security proof, it's just for when you're in the car. Okay, go. Oop, a little bit. Okay. This bug proof. Bug, stay outside. Thank you. Open. <laughs> What's happening now? Oh, it's an nugget. Oh. But now we don't have, we can't see through it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I know, I know. Uh, this is just a prototype. Okay, now, now it's strengthened at least. There we go. There we go. Cool. Okay, good night. No. Not sure if it's gonna work. I think it will. I think it's pretty cool. Good job. Lots of tools out there on the table still. The next day. Well, we're still here, but this morning we are making brekkies and we leaving this place. It's been a very relaxing week. Not doing much, to be honest. Well, it's Monday because yesterday was the War Memorial Day and today we're heading to Paris. But we've never been to Paris, actually. And you guys won't believe it, but it's actually warm enough to put the awning out just a little bit. Do you want some breakfast? I have been to shop in a few days. So we got some eggs, avocado, asparagus, butter, bacon, wine tomatoes, this dude's camembert, and maybe spinach. It might be a small piece of toast somewhere. Let's see. Also, in case it just gets Coffee. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Hi, right, breakfast. Oh, yummy. Oh. Okay guys, this is breakfast. From here on we're moving to Paris. A long drive ahead of us. If uh, we're gonna sign off this video, it wasn't very exciting, but it was more of a downtime week. And it was beautiful just going through the countryside of France, enjoying once again the amazing camper facilities that France provides, no matter how small the town. So we're doing Paris by motorhome. We've considered a number of options. We'll show you how we decided to do it. So we'll catch you guys in the next video and we'll show you a little bit of Paris. Can't wait for Paris. Au revoir. Au revoir.